Department of Veterans Affairs funding for this exhibition called From Sorts to Plowshares and it's a really innovative project. I'm delighted that Cathy O'Toole's office awarded us this funding through the Department of Veterans Affairs. It's an interesting project because we're looking at the soldiers who returned and got on with their lives and that's quite unusual in commemoration around Armistice Day. People tend to be looking at soldiers who died on the battlefield. We're looking at the people who came back and who set about building a just peace. My favourite person uh, in, this, in this project is Harold Stuart Thorley. Now he's not the most famous person in the exhibition, but he's the one who I find has the most interesting story from a personal level. He was a customs clerk and he went off to the war and when he came back he was very involved in the Townsville Choral Society and other musical organisations. And I think that's what people are going to get out of this exhibition that, you know, hey, they're, they're not just soldiers, they had a strong, strong uh, interest in developing the community after the war. I got involved in this project through the BA 3000 class where they were offering an internship and it's been really challenging and interesting and I've learnt heaps of new things. Well, one of the other researchers were looking at women in the war and I thought what other minority groups are sort of forgotten when we look at Anzacs and so I focused on an Indigenous soldier. His name's Hurdle Patterson. He arrived on the beach in Gallipoli in the first couple of hours of the invasion, injured not long after, so he couldn't go back. He lost his sight in one eye, but then he was on the campaign trail for Queensland. We received support with this project from the One RAR Museum. Townsville City Library's local history collection has been fantastic to us and has found some great objects and items for us to borrow. Also, the Townsville Museum and Historical Society has been wonderful. The JCU Library Special Collections have not only given us display space, but have helped us go through and find the treasures that are in their collections as well and are relevant to this project. Special Collections is always very happy to work with JCU History, both academics and students. We get to show new material from the special collections through the displays and also new research and new commentary on veterans of war through the JC Library News Blog. So there's a regular series running through News Blog at the moment. It's also been great working with Tricia Fielding, who's a professional historian, and she's written a number of books on Townsville history, and together we've produced some interesting snapshots of soldiers, nurses, and other people who've made a difference to towns of society in war and peace.